In recent years, we've been moving away from the world where an individual makes a claim about his or her identity to a world where the individual is studied and profiled without even being asked. Put another way, you will no longer only have to show ID or attest to being a good person. The data intensive systems will say this for you and everyone you know. This is all possible because data can be used to create information and in turn intelligence. This could be your data or data of other people. The simplest examples are, our office Wi-Fi knows what time we get in every day and can identify who we arrived with and who we left with. Facebook knows what time you wake up every morning and can deduce if you're not feeling well. Your smart energy meter can tell your living habits, your family composition, your religion, and increasingly even more details. Those are small isolated cases. When these systems are linked, more can be discerned. A government can infer how many people are in your home and their age and religion and what you are all doing by combining internet data, phone metadata, and energy usage patterns. But they can also identify people based on unique signatures on the data generated. Now imagine this on a larger scale. Let's take a look at a case study on smart cities. The smart city market is becoming a multi-billion dollar industry. As local governments all over the world are rethinking urban planning by using technology and data collection to provide better services, large multinationals as well as small startup companies are scrambling for a piece of the profit. Smart cities are a great example of how isolated applications can create mass interconnected, interdependent systems with vast amounts of opportunities. But, as with many of the initiatives we discuss, the absence of a privacy lens from the moment of conception has resulted in disempowered and disenfranchised groups, the reinforcement of pre-existing inequalities, and the lack of necessary safeguards, checks, and balances. Our homes, cities, and countries are becoming surveillance-ready environments by design, and many citizens and consumers have little understanding of the implications and risks. The aim is the management of the city, enabled by major global companies. The individual and his or her rights are not the priority. Now think of other so-called smart infrastructure and the element of control given to the individual, as well as the ability to foresee how it will be used and governed, and which powerful actors are given priority by design.